This is part three of the airlift pump. This is uh, something I made here, just studying the concept. It's a two inch PVC pipe. I got this cut in an angle so I can set this at the bottom of the well if I need to, to clean it out. This is a foot from the bottom here, 12 inches, where I got the half inch inlet. This is where the compressed air comes in. You don't need much pressure at all. Not very much CFM, maybe two, I don't know yet. You'll see on the, the video after this one, I think it's video four. And this pipe here, this two inch pipe's four feet long. And then I just got it adapted here. This is two inch, uh, sorry, inch and a quarter, black poly, and this is half inch for the air delivery line. And my assistant, Snip, you're going to help me put this in the well? Yeah? Okay, so you're going to help me? All right, well, just make sure that other end over there doesn't get tangled up, okay? You got it? You got it, Snip? You sure? You going to help me? All right, just making sure you're paying attention. All right, so we're going down this well here. It's 68 feet deep with a four inch casing. And I have the CFM gauge and the pressure gauge to see what my optimum volume is gonna be for this well to produce the most gallons per minute with that homemade airlift pump. So here we go. And snip. Make sure you uh, watch the other end, okay? Appreciate all the help. Alright. This is a lot easier than these other pumps. easier than messing with that rigid inch and a quarter. You can see a lot of my other experiments with water on frytv.com. If you can read that on the back of my shirt. I don't know if you can hear me. pump weighs nothing, so I'm almost having to force it down to the hole. It's almost like it's trying to float in the water. What I'm going to do is set it at the bottom. See if I can clean the bottom of it out with uh, shipping some stuff on the bottom of that pipe. Right. I'm going to take this up here right now. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video and there'll have to be a, a part four or five or six, whatever. I can't remember what part this is. So I can show you the flow rate. But that was a hundred foot of uh, inch and a quarter. And this is a 68 foot well, and that looks about 30 feet left. So when I cut this sucker, I'll uh, calculate exactly how far down it went. 
and I'll be giving you an update with the flow rate soon once I hook this up well I guess I could turn it on right now and then show you the flow rate on the ground just uh, yeah let's go ahead and do that because I still got five minutes left here all right so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this a little shorter than it needs to be or longer Turn this sucker on, and we'll see what kind of trash we're getting out of this well. Because I set the pump at the very bottom, let's see what comes out here. We'll put it in this jug. See what stuff comes out of this well. We'll empty the rest of this water out. All right, there must be water coming in. Whoa! That's a lot of water. Well, I guess that well is pretty clean. Either that or I didn't have it all the way at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and try to hook this line on this deal right here. Okay, there comes the junk. There we go. Yeah, so that's cleaning out the bottom of my well. And that's the whole point of this pump too. Is, yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. It's cleaning the bottom of the well out. That's awesome. And once I get this bottom cleaned out, it should produce a little bit better because it's perforated pipe all the way down. I don't know, it's a pretty good producing well as it is. Still got some time left here. I'm going to up the pressure. I just don't want this thing to fall and kink over. All right, I'm going to up the I'm going to up the CFM. Okay, that's a little bit too much. I'm going to shut her down. That's getting kind of crazy. I'm going to just barely take it up to about two cubic feet per minute. I need to tie this line down right here so it doesn't kick. Maybe I can do that real quick with this wire. There, that way it won't fall off. Okay, we're running about 2 CFM and 